so a new chapter has been started whose name is 3d 3d means three dimensional geometry so now we have started about the x axis and y axis means the cartesian plane but here we are seniors and we know the fact that nothing can be only defined in the form of length and breadth or even something can be defined but not everything so for that we need the height element or the space which we are talking about imagine that you are talking about a rectangular sheet of paper or an a4 size of sheet of paper then definitely you can define it in the form of length or breadth but every time do we have all the elements in the form of length or breadth what about a duster a duster from which i rub the board is actually having both the elements of length and breadth and an additional element of height as well similarly if i talk about a rectangular table even it has an height so length breadth height when i talk about all those three things we talk about lbh means three things which talks about three dimensions so three dimensional geometry is the term the other thing that always three dimensional geometry that i'm talking about has certain specifications there has to be certain uh, learning about the line the plane and everything so in this chapter we'll study in detail what are the various things related to line and what are the various things related to a plane and then you will be proficient in this chapter the requirement for this chapter which is a very basic requirement is the complete knowledge of the chapter of vectors as well as the straight lines which you studied in your previous class of class 11th so let's get started with this chapter now i have written something which is the definition of direction ratios you know what are direction cosines and direction ratios from the chapter of vectors but this is the formal definition let's read this out it says direction ratios of a line are proportional to direction ratios of any vector whose support is the given line now just see this definition only tells you that you need to know about the straight lines chapter you need to know about the vectors chapter and you need to know about the previous all chapters because support word was also in your vectors so direction ratios of any line if you have to calculate do not panic with the definition let me tell you here what i'm saying suppose there is any line and there are two points on a line on that line a and b a point has the coordinates x1 y1 z1 because now we are talking about 3d b points has the coordinate x2 y2 z2 because now we are talking about 3d so the direction ratio of the line on which a and b lie would be computed from these coordinates of a and b so direction ratios would be x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 z2 minus z1 so your direction ratios will be proportional to this that is the only matter of fact now in the next video we'll be studying about direction cosines then we'll see some questions in order to understand in a much better manner